You can do a poll. Which one they like best? <laughs> it, it's not all a competition. It is not all <laughs> a competition. Are you going to do I a poll to see it. <laughs> who, who likes the best? I like mine I the best. It. Do you know what? I think we've started recording. We're going to use all of that. Yeah, no, we yeah, can. Yeah, no, we'll use all of that. Which one do you think is better? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Right, go on then. So I was, I was a little bit surprised. I actually do think Ooh, yours... Oh, it's very, very... OK. <laughs> oh, it's listen, a bit come here. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Oh, I can't get through that. Oh, oh! It's easy done. Don't be so competitive. <laughs> oh, that is quite... <laughs> But I wasn't sure about this one because it doesn't have any Tommy on it, but... Mm -mm, it's got chilli. It's got chilli. Can I try some of yours or are you just going to hog it all to yourself? Mm -hmm. I cut you a piece of mine. I think you'll like mine. Do you? Mm. I have to say, I thought it was quite nice, the flavour. Look at the, look at the colours, though. Look at I the colours on pretty, that. Look at the colours. It's very sort of a spring pizza, isn't it? It is very spring-like. In case I you're mean... wondering <laughs> what... Ah. <laughs> well, same old story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, same old story. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? I got it. I'm gonna have to do this. Otherwise, it's gonna be too weird. Mm. Mm? Like it? Mm hmm. There we go. The mint and the. Not the cucumber. What's that stuff called? You cook. Courgette. Mm, no, it's good. It's very good. You like it? I still prefer mine. Okay. We haven't even explained why we're eating these pizzas. <laughs> we made pizzas with Gino. Watch, there you go. watch the show. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're good, aren't we? We should be on the deli. Oh my god. <laughs> Best bit for a Tuesday, and actually. What about the stories that Will Mella and Jill Halfpenny yes, told? Yes, there was, uh, when we played our clip to sort of introduce them and there was the bit when Will's character was up high and he was holding on and, and then we came out of it and they were giggling away and we are like, what are they giggling about? And it turns out there was a bit of a story behind it. Mm -hmm. What are you two giggling about? I was getting I was involved in that then. There's <laughs> just one bit when <laughs> I had to stand on the edge when I was supposed to jump off that building yeah. I was about to. <clears throat> And um, when they said, right, you've got enough now, we have to get the stunt guy in. And instead of him doing it, he just put my shoes on his hands and we're like, that did it. On the edge of the building. I thought, I've had any stunts. I could have done that. <laughs> just put the jeans on the arms and put my shoes over the edge like that in the shop. <laughs> Oh As I was gosh. watching that, Jill went, she just went like that with her hands and he burst out laughing. I love I that. About that. Then there was Jill's story, um, who she dated Ant back in the day yes. of Biker Grove. And then there was the, one of my favourite royal stories ever, I think, from Will when he met Will. There are two, there are two stories that uh, we cannot let you go without uh, you telling us. And, uh, and I'll start with you first, Jill, and that is, who did you date in Biker Grove? <laughs> oh, good <laughs> Lord. Oh, you're talking about Ant? Might have been. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the cinema, we went and to they... see The Commitment. Did, did you? you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, in real life? I thought you meant characters. No, in real life. No, in real life. Real life. Yeah, oh, we yeah, just saw yeah. a little picture of you then yeah. back in Biker Grove. I said to him, there's a really good film that's come out called The Commitments. Do you want to come? He was like, oh, yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> did it, but that obviously that was. Oh, it fizzled. Did it? Fizzled, yeah. It just wasn't... No, we weren't right for each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yours that I uh, need to get oh, is your it? is your royal story. Oh, oh um, yeah. There was well, it was. I was in a club and um, um, Prince William was was there, um, and he wasn't surrounded by loads of security, and we ended up chatting. And I was on crutches because I'd done my knee from football, <clears throat> and uh, it was a few years back, and then. As the night goes on, I have a few drinks, and this, and this idiot just barges me off my crutches on purpose and finds it hilarious. Aye. And I lost my temper, got into a scuffle with this guy, and the next thing I know, somebody's pulling me up, and then he's got his arms on my shoulder saying, he's not worth it, and it was Prince William. 
And then his hands on my shoulders going, Will, he's not worth it. He's not worth it. And I'm going, he's not me off me crutch. <laughs> Your Highness. To the future King of England. I feel, and the name said, I'll never forget the future King of England with his hands on his shoulders saying, Will, he's not worth it. And then the security are piling in because it looks like me and him. I know. <laughs> I get thrown out and I'm like, Will, tell him it wasn't. And he was like, sorry. Yeah, sorry, it's not worth it. <laughs> but he was a lovely guy, really lovely guy. And uh, I, yeah, I got thrown out. But... That is a great story. Best bit for today, I'm going to choose Gareth uh, Gates, who came in to talk to us about all the various different musicals he's in at the moment and all the things that are happening in his life. But also, I liked it because he was very brave, actually. Mm. And he's come on here and he's spoken before about his stammer and how he works with the Maguire programme and that they, it's a work in progress. And I think he made it very obvious to everybody today that it's something that he definitely has to continually work on. And at the moment, he's going through a bit of a difficult time. Mm. Yeah, but um, but the, the great thing is that for anyone who has a stutter or a stammer, I'm not quite sure which which one you're supposed or to apparently, address it as, um, can look at him and think, right, okay, that's fine. You know, you've just got kind to of power through yeah. um, and work hard at it. The funny thing was, and the lovely thing also is that he laughs at himself as yeah. well. Is that he's yeah. actually um, created a coconut drink which he can't say. <laughs> Brilliant. I, I read that you were uh, going to the gym and you were sort of doing this clean living thing. Yes. Um, so obviously, if you're going to be exposed like that on the stage, then you want to you want to look your yes. absolute best. But the clean living thing fascinated me. What is that? What's the clean living? I had an injury on my vocal cords two years ago. Mm. Too much working, too much partying at times, and so I decided to um, live very cleanly. Mm. Uh, um, and so I, I had this idea whilst I was at home resting at the time to mm, make a brand new herbal drink. And I saw that coconut was huge at the time, yeah. coconut water, coconut oil. And so I came up with this idea to make a hot coconut beverage. And it's called... Oh, man, I really find this difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's true. Why oh, did, why did that's you pick unlucky. A, you should have picked an easier name. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should. I picked one that you can say. <laughs> <laughs> that was I thinking. Um, and so I came up with this brand new coconut hot beverage called Cupanut. And it's basically just ground coconut in a tea bag. Uh, I've just signed a huge deal with the biggest UK health store in the UK and wow. it's, it's, it's all going well and it's helping me with my clean living. And, the, and the, your voice is going to be all right? Oh, yes. Yeah. With me venturing into the business world and that all going really, really well, that I'll be able to take a bit more time off from using my voice every night mm -hmm. and then that'll help with my, my vocal cords, I guess. To watch more exclusive YouTube videos, simply click here and subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. I know I've done a lot of eating today, but a lot of people have brought in yummy food for me to eat. I had burgers and frittatas and caramax. No, caramaroons. <laughs> what are they called? Cameroons! <laughs> that country in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> what are they called? She's eating the whole of Cameroon! <laughs> Macaroons. Macaroons. <laughs>